Oh, <laughs> yeah. You my date now? Yeah, yeah, I guess I am. I'm, I'm Ryan. Tony, nice to meet you. Sorry, I've got a match tomorrow, so I've got to keep limber. Yeah, I was going to ask, um, <laughs> what is it, a sports match? Do you play locally? No, it's my job, actually. I'm a footballer. Oh, shit. Should you be out dating the night before a match? Oh, don't worry. It's fine as long as I'm in bed by 12. Don't drink. I'm an alcoholic. And don't have sex. Uh, what's your position? Reverse cowgirl. No. Um, what is your football position? What do you think? <laughs> well, that's, that's a tough one. Well, just say which area of the pitch. I'll narrow it down for you. I'm not tall enough to be a goalkeeper. I am a keeper in other ways, though. Well, you are doing your pre-match conditioning, which makes me think that you are reliable. And I think reliability is important in a defender, so I'm going to say defence. Win a win a chicken dinner. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> Do you like sports yourself? Yes, big time. Football, rugby, tennis, basketball, golf. I, I watch absolutely anything. Yeah, same. If it's on the telly, I'll watch it. Even if you don't know anything about it? Yeah, I'll pick it up as I go along. It's like watching the Olympics, isn't it? We become an expert in like some random event overnight. Yeah, I became an avid curling and skateboarding fan for those two weeks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not your phone. Is, is this reminding me to carb load tomorrow? What are you having, Pasta? Footballer's best friend. <laughs> this is your halfway warning, guys. That is three minutes to go. So, um, how did you become a pro? I'd say my key influence was my dad. He used to take me to practices, to matches. He knew I fell in love with it and did everything to cultivate my passion. The kit, the travelling, consoling me after bad performances. <laughs> Are you close with your parents? No, no, I wanted to ask you more. We ain't got time, right, lad? Tell me. If you want to, of course. Yeah, I'm just... I'm lucky to have a great relationship with both my parents. Um, they're both great. Yeah, they're like, they have a great relationship and... They're kind of like a blueprint for the sort of person I want to be and the sort of partner I want to be with. That's amazing. It's so hard to find people talk about both parents like that. Yeah, God. Good parenting is definitely important. It is. Let's see how competitive you are. Do you fancy a quick challenge? Obviously. Fancy a test of strength. I chuck weights around like toys in the gym. OK, that's some fight and talk. How about we do an arm wrestle? Yeah, all right. No, I'm kidding. Nah, go on. Yeah, I don't want to end you before your game. Get your arm on the table, lad. <laughs> OK. <sighs> Ready? <laughs> go. We're already holding hands. <laughs> I'm just desperate. <laughs> or I'm irresistible. <laughs> Got more than that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Shit. I really thought I was winning that. You're stronger than you look. Look, I confess, I do some arm days in the gym, so. <sighs> Makes me feel a bit better. Still got it, though. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Ooh, we're in stoppage time. What? Football's the best sport for making analogies. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you fancy another quick challenge? Yes, yes. But what do you want to do? Well, there's conversation starters and riddles, apparently. Convenient. OK. A man looks at a painting and says, brothers and sisters, I have none, but that man's father is my father's son. Who's in the painting, the man or his son? Brothers and sisters, I have none. That man's father. Father's son. It is the man himself. That's what I was going to say, but a draw's no fun. I'll say man's son. But how do we find the answer? Oh, is it it's folded in? OK. More thoughts gone on at this event than I gave it credit for. The man's son! Get in! Oh, God's sake! Oh. You only got that because you swapped your answer. You did. You thought the man as well. Uh, a win's a win, right? No matter how you get it, eh? And that is time, everyone. Move on to your next day. We crammed a lot into that. Yes, we did. Um, yeah, it was great to meet you, Tony. Yeah. Is that sure for Antonia? Spot on, but everyone calls me Tony. Do you want to keep in touch? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's your handle? At TN7. Tiny Newton and my shirt number seven. That is some main character shit right there. Okay, you bit. I will not. Have a good night, Tony. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well, aha, uh -huh. now let me tell you about Tony. She's mm -hmm. a football player. Wow. Professional. Wow. She was just quite laid back. Um, sort of person who was like, give as good as you can get, you know? That sounds fun. Do you think there might be a future with the footballer? I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but yeah, I could. I, I'd, lo I'd love to see her again. So, what's the next move? Well, I have one option. So, I think I'm gonna send a message. Yeah, one's better than none. One is definitely better than none. Proud of you. Peace. I'm sorry, but I've got a valid excuse. What happened to you? I'll tell you in a sec, out my way. <sighs> Basically, I went in for a 50-50 ball in my match today, crunched my ankle. So, by 50-50 ball, do you mean that you went in, like, two-footed? Did you go in recklessly? Or did you go... You almost went in head first, did you? Cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> no, I won the ball. <laughs> you should see the other girl. What, is she in two boots? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, seriously, uh, like, I, I hope it's not that bad. No, it'll be fine. And I get such lovely messages from my fans online, so that keeps some spirits up. They must be really cool, having your own fan base. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's small, but well-formed. And, um... Looking forward to getting a message from my newest follower. Oh, <laughs> you spotted me. Um, I feel special. Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> Most of my followers are female, so Ryan stood out. <sighs> OK. OK, I'll know for future. <laughs> Just got to keep that head in check. <laughs> would you like a drink? Yeah, I'd love one. Yeah? What would you like? Beer? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, I always do that for cheers where you cheers and then I never take a drink afterwards. Which I've heard that's bad luck. That's seven years bad sex, apparently. Cheers. So, would you say that you're quite a rough player? I prefer daring. Daring, mm. okay. Will we put that to the test? Do you want to play a game of truth or dare? It might be a good way to get to know each other. Well, only if I get to ask first. What? Truth or dare. <laughs> Why do you get to go first? Well, look, this isn't your average day. My foot's in the boot. I need to warm into it. I'm going to go with a dare. Bold. All right. I dare you to sing something out loud. Really? What, like, properly? How loud do I have to sing? What do I sing? It's up to you. Oh, God. What about um, the national anthem? Uh, what, the Irish national anthem? My Irish is... Okay. Okay. I hope there's no paddies here. I hope not either. Okay. This is serious business, so um, put your hand on your heart, please. <laughs> yeah? Okay. I hate you. Shana Fina Fall. If anyone knows the words, sing along. A top we are again. We Slew. Okay, that's enough. That's all you're getting. That is all you're getting. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Very, very good. My album's dropping soon if you do want it. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'd buy it. Perfect stocking filler for my nan. Lucky her. She can listen to that all the time on repeat. God help her. <laughs> now it's my turn for a little bit of payback. <laughs> Truth or dare? Dare. Straight in. Remember, I'm injured. Yeah, otherwise I'd have you cartwheeling around the bar if you weren't. Well, I'd have done it. I, I really do believe that you would have. Show me a secret talent that you have that no one knows you can do. Okay. Well, 
See, I've actually got this alter ego of this old Irish lady. Irish lady, okay, yeah, okay. So I think you'll like her. What's her name? Oh, I've never named her before. Let's let's call her Antoinette. Mm. Yeah. The, the common Irish name. Oh, hang on. Here she's coming. <laughs> oh, hey, right there, Roy lad. If it were 1962, we'd be going home right now. <laughs> Please, never bring Antoinette out again. No, I'm kidding. Can I get her number? <laughs> she is dreadful, though. Where does she make appearance? Like, birthday parties? Or... Just in my head. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. Truth or dare? You just don't mess about, do you? It's about creating tempo, right, lad? Life's just one big training drill to you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, I'm only kidding. But hurry up. <laughs> dare. Tempo, tempo, come on. <laughs> OK, talk to me for the next 30 seconds while holding your orgasm face. How the hell am I supposed to know what that looks like? Oh, I don't know, just imagine it. So, sorry, you want me to imagine sitting here in this bar that I'm having an orgasm? Oh, that's the there, isn't it? <sighs> oh, oh. Uh, here's a fact for you. The amount of people older than you never goes up. That's the stuff you think about. Mm, 30 seconds this is a very long time to hold an orgasm face. Oh, I'm getting the voice too. Anything for you, Misha. Misha? Uh, she, no, um, she's, she's, uh, she's my best friend. Anyway, um, shall we do... One last round. Why not? Truth. I haven't even asked you yet. It's my job to think ahead, yeah? I've got to keep this pace up. Give me a moment, I'm getting there. Got one. What is the most disgusting food combination that just makes sense to you? Easy. I'm notorious on the training ground for my love of mayo sandwiches. You get two slices of white bread, a dollop of mayo in the middle. <laughs> Nothing like it. Why? Why? It's so good. Why don't you add any, literally anything into it? No, don't blame me that your palate is unrefined, yeah? Do you have mayonnaise on everything? Oh, I like it in a mayo sandwich. Yeah, but you must have it on other stuff as well, if you're going to have a pure mayo sandwich. Well, I might have it on the side, yeah. So you, you dip the mayo sandwich in mayo? No, 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 no. We're not crazy, yeah? Okay. yeah? That would be too far. OK, that's enough babbling from me. Your turn, right? Truth or dare? Double or nothing? OK, OK. Well, there's a lot riding on this one, then. Well, there's nothing like a strong finish. <sighs> Impress me. Truth, baby. OK. What's your guilty pleasure? Uh, that is a good question. I am torn between sweets and, like, girly movies, chick flicks sort of thing. Well, there's nothing wrong with a guy that likes watching films girls like. Oh, yeah, no, no, I know. I, it's kind of more the perception that comes along with it, though, like, they're the sort of movies that I wouldn't admit to my guy friends that I'm watching. Well, as a woman who plays a sport that men like, that perception can be quite damaging. It's made my life so tough. You shouldn't gender things like that. Films. Films, clothes, sports, everything. That mindset stops people pursuing things they really like. OK. Uh, I promise that I'll do my best to correct my wording going forward. I just wanted to pull you up on it. It's these kind of conversations that can lead to positive change. That's me. What do we have? Another alarm to carb load? No, it's my dad. I should take this. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pops. Yeah, ankle's fine. I'm just out with a friend. The noise in the background. We're, we're just out, but I've got my foot elevated. Dad, I am recovering. It's not harmful here. OK. All right, Dad. OK. Yep, I'll leave now. So you always shout at you like that? Only when I deserve it. I don't think anyone deserves to be shouted at like that. Well, he's right. I've got fresh injury and I, and I should be at home resting, really. Yeah, but do you really need someone to be that tough on you? I mean, it's kind of made me who I am today. Made me the player I am. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it, it, the reason I'm asking is just so long as it doesn't upset you. No, it doesn't affect me mentally. I mean, I might have missed out on a few things when I was a teenager. You know, didn't do the things regular teenagers did. Or the things that regular adults do. I mean, I guess, but I'm also living my dream. The sacrifices that go along with it, isn't it? It's part of the job. 
Anyway, I should go. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the loo first. Yeah. Do you wanna hang it up or? All right. You all good to go? Yeah. Cool. I will find a waiter and we'll just pay the bill. Oh, no, no, I, I got it on my way back from the toilet. You've paid? You cheeky. Well, it's my fault we're ending early, so. Yeah, well, thank you. Anytime. I mean it. I had a cracking night. Yeah, so did I. Um, did you get your dad to call you deliberately just to leave me wanting more? Is that what happened? <laughs> Shit, busted. Yeah. Are you OK getting home? Yeah. I ordered a cab, but you can hop in with me if you like. Help me home. Yeah. And so who's going to get the third date? <laughs> no commentary, please. <laughs> He's scrolling. Um. Scrolling back. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Tony. I had a really good time the other night, so I was wondering if you would like to meet up and we could go get a drink. Yes, I, I hope your leg's doing uh, better as well. Okay, um, so I will definitely book a place where we can do that, and that'll be great, and I will talk to you soon. OK. Yes, uh, see you. See you later. Bye. Oh, Amazing. That's a relief. Oh, your sweet is dry. And do not mention it. Uh, there you go. Thank you. I think I'm going to have the dirtiest, unhealthiest burger there is. And I think that I will join you in that. Great. <laughs> if you don't slow down there, you're going to have a full start and 11 a beer bottle soon. Well, I never get to drink on the off season, so get in now. Should you not be more healthy, though, if you're less active? You sound like my dad. Oh, no, sorry, I don't mean... I'm, mess I'm messing with you. I even brought a game for tonight. I've had so much time on my hands, I made a game. No way. Yeah. Right, we got two piles. Mm-hmm. I've got two piles. And then these ones, they're photos of you and me. Dare I ask how you got them? Social media. Ah, oh, shit. OK, what are the other two piles? Captions. So what, how does the, what are the rules of the game? What do we do then? We take it in turns to pick a photo and a caption and see what combination we get. OK. Here we go. Will you do photo card first? I'll do caption? Yep. <laughs> OK. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, but that photo is of when I'm in school. Yeah. And we had a pajamas party. And um, I went a little bit further than everyone else. Everyone wore their own pajamas, but I went and actually bought women's silk pajamas. Pink, which I think is my colour. Gorgeous. What were you like at school? What, like, if, the, if you were in a high school movie, what clique would you be in? Oh, God. Um... I was probably a jock. I was pretty sporty back then. Snap. I'd say you were a queen jock. I was, yeah, but um, it was a bit different in female sports. There was like a hierarchy. If you played netball and tennis, you were feminine, and that was pretty cool. But if you played rugby and football, it was less cool. Oh, OK. Sorry you had to go through that. No, it gave me a bit of fight. You definitely have some of that. <laughs> Next round. Yep. This time, you pick a photo of me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. What's that? Oh, man. I lost my shit when we won that game. I scored a last minute winner. You scored? I didn't think you had that in you. I'll take that. Um... <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> What's the caption? 
It's only after hearing about Brexit. OK, yeah. Yeah, well, no, my real reaction was actually the complete opposite of that. Although, I don't know if it was the same for my wider family. Why did they vote to leave Europe? Yeah. The European Union stood for a lot of things that they didn't believe in. But I know we should steer clear of politics. It's ancient news, right? Hmm. Yeah, uh, no, I voted Remain as well. Brexit really hit home with my industry. We have so many amazing foreign players, coaches, the fans. It just felt like a big screw you. And ultimately, at the end of the day, it's going to be us who are screwed over in the long run. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get back to caption time. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, no! I keep telling Misha to delete that photo. What is the context of this glorious photo? What got Ryan through the COVID-19 pandemic? <laughs> okay. That hardly got you through it. <laughs> no baking banana bread or 5K runs then. No, I am a simple man. Picking my nose will do it for me. <laughs> Hours a day. Oh, jeez. I can't believe that bloody virus took two whole years of our lives. Yeah, God, I know. I mean, I don't want to dwell on it, but did it affect you much, or...? I mean, obviously, professional sports shut down for a bit. I didn't lose anyone, so that was great. But, I mean, my family definitely suffered mentally. We're such a social family, and, and we were just stripped of it. It really messed people that, around. Yeah, that was the toughest thing for me as well. Like, I was living alone during it. Um, I didn't have a garden, I didn't have a balcony or anything, so I literally had zero face-to-face -face contact for weeks and weeks. We just got to make up for lost time, then. <laughs> oh, um... Out of curiosity, did you get vaccinated? I didn't actually. No, I was I was worried it'd be detrimental to my sporting performance. Well, couldn't COVID have an effect on your sporting performance? I mean, yeah, but getting the vaccine was something I had control over. Yeah, no, I understand that. Like, better safe than sorry. I just had too much to lose. Thanks for seeing my side of it, though. I've lost friends over it. You're going to have to do a little bit more than that to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. <laughs> what do you reckon? You one more round in you? Go on in. OK, here we go. OK. Uh, Tony, I have a question about this card. Shit. I don't know how that got in there. So I'm not the only guy you play this game with? The game's a dating staple of mine. My ex gave me the idea. I mean, I'm, I'm really sorry you had to find out like this. He is a pretty good-looking dude. He's got a little bum chin, mind you, but he's still pretty good-looking. <laughs> All looks no chat. Look, I know dating multiple people is the modern way. Um, there's definitely better ways to find out than this, but I'm not going to hold it against you. You got to date a few people, see what's right for you. Also, by the way, I, I reckon my chances are pretty good against him. I love that. What was the caption? <laughs> Tony's secret talent. <laughs> OK, uh, moving swiftly on. Um, bar that little tiny speed bump. Yeah, uh, the game was great. It was amazing. I just did it for jokes. I wasn't anticipating it would reveal so much about each other. Hmm. get used to this injury malarkey. Really? No, it's shite. <laughs> but injuries are an occupational hazard. All it takes is one wrong movement or a bad tackle from an opponent. Yeah, but plus, it, it, it doesn't seem too serious. No, I mean, it's not career threatener. But I've seen it happen to mates with ACLs and broken legs. It's a fragile career. Dad always warned me. He's been looking at post-football career options. Thinks I should get into property. So I'm going to do a course through my rehab. I mean, it sounds like your dad has your back on this one. He always does. So, we've probably reached that stage of the evening where we should put our cards on the table. That was not a pun. <laughs> you cheesy bastard. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I really like you. Uh, we've laughed a lot, got serious the odd time. Um, even with one good foot, you're still running rings around me. 
I kind of hope you feel the same. I'm glad you said it first, Ryan, lad, because I would have fluffed it. I totally feel the same way. You're a cracker. So, can I kiss you? You're going to have to. I can't lean in, lad. Oh! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Are you OK? <laughs> it just cost me two weeks. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> God, I'm sorry. It's all right. Don't tell your dad. <laughs> Rain check on the first kiss? Yeah. Go on, then. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.